working in God's vineyard since age 18. God called me to be working in vineyard since age 18. And since then, I've been to several churches. And uh, God has been taking absolute control and he has been teaching me a lot. Before we now start in the Evangelical Spiritual Church, who is um, a, a very notable white German church. And also, we have it in um, in uh, English service where we wear mufti. The, but it's spiritual, more spiritual, more evangelical. We are sound. Because there's nothing between. There's nothing like when you say spiritual. Spiritual in another language is Pentecost, and the day of Pentecost is a spiritual day, where Holy Spirit manifests and where the the, uh, the disciples started speaking, speaking in languages. And the uh, Holy Spirit has been assistant before now. So, and uh, we have a humanitarian service in the church where we take care of the widows, the orphans, and the vulnerable children. But the most fantastic one that has just happened recently is, is about calling. You know, I look at the whole situation the day the Mr. President said that youth, they are lazy. And I look at the word which Mr. President said about the youth that it's a government that are lazy. Prime government are very lazy. If they are not lazy, they will create job employment. They will help the youth to grow. Facilities will be there for us, good roads. What they are doing outside the world, there, other countries there, they can do it also in Nigeria. But because the system is corrupt from the presidency to the grassroots, that's why the a president of a very powerful nation can say that the youth are lazy. Somebody who have a PhD is driving a car. Somebody with M M MSc looking for 30000 dollars job to sustain himself. The president does not even go to the grassroots. If you go to the grassroots, we know that it's the government that are lazy, not the youth. And they will have, they will not, they will have even reframe it. If the government of the country said that, you have to even apologize to the youth or even resign. You understand? So I, the day he said it, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me that it is time for you to look after the Youths who are addicted, you have to start rehabilitating them, put them, put them together. To the glory of God, I started it. It's just about two, two months pro project. Today I've uh, rehabilitated about 30 youths. A boy of 41 years old who has never been to school. 41 years old. If you want to see him, I can refer you to his house. Now I send him to school to go and do work. I give him money for GCE. 41 years. He has been addicted. He said he takes coding. He takes SK. He takes loud. He takes Sigbo. Mixing together. You know. And when I start hearing all of this, I say, well, something else is happening in this world, in this country, or in Nigeria. But our leaders don't even understand what this is all about. We will interview, interview them, ask them. They will tell you that because I don't have money, because I don't have job, because I don't do this, then I just have to I get depressed. How old are you? You say you are depressed. You see a boy of 20 years old who have gone to sell, to prison, come back. Have to rehabilitate such a person. People doing this are the people doing the work of God. Not pastors who live in Nigeria and go to America and say they want to go and preach for you, but will bring your even bring the religion down to Africa. So people like Adebo Yoyedepo and so on and so forth, who goes to America, who goes to big places to to preach. I want to tell them that it is time. We should forget all this um, uh, psychological uh, evangelic evangelism. Where you go to overseas, 
them come to Ajoy? Ajegule, can they go to Ajegule? Oh, you did poor. Come on, can they go to the interlands where we have bad, bad people? These bad boys. Even where they get witchcraft. Did you, did you see pastor going to those places anymore? It is, not, it is time not to applaud all these big pastors. Let's give it to junior, younger pastors that are coming. These people are cold enough. And these are the big pastors who even throw Christianity into, into, into tomorrow. The camp president during the time of Ayo, he said, Ayo does not do anything. And the man here now, I'm not even seeing his light at all. He's not vibrant. He's not articulating. I don't know what Khan is all about. Khan is giving me a dick. And that's why I would not belong to Khan. I'm sorry. It's a, I think a, a bit of digression. You know, we are asking about the church. So, so far, so good. We are to give to society, spiritually, economically, otherwise. Despite this youth, Nigerian youth, they are drunkards. You see them with tattoo. You see them drinking from morning till night. Ask them, get closer to them. It's never their fault. It's because of the leadership that we have in the country. These people are ready to work. Empower them with 30 for 35,000. You see how they bring returns. This guy has been a drug addict for 30 years. Honestly, such person, you have to interview such person. It's not anything, just keep quiet. These are the people you have to show. These are the people that government even need. And yet they need people like this. And churches have to also do this in order to help the government. Though the government is lazy, but the government, we don't need to leave them alone. Uh, we we'll just have to how to see how to help the government out of the areas where they cannot get it right.